how do I get that old world charm in my 21st century home? I know you've been thinking about that, haven't you? It's a big issue in my life. It's a conundrum. I actually stay awake at well, night worrying about it. If you don't happen to have any... these wrinkles? Yes, I know. If you don't have those family heirlooms just laying around, we're going to show you certain pieces you can buy that'll give your home the classic antique look without costing you a fortune. Or better yet, have an old relative come by. That's right. And you know, I think we just had that teacher so that Bob, our rope, our cameraman, could do that shot because that was very impressive. That was very, very impressive. Very nice. The rest, of it, so that's all he's there done There he goes. There you go. That one Nicely shot. done. Nicely done. Wave into the mirror. Yeah. Okay, also, by the way, this morning on Today's Home, heirloom chic. Well, you may just want to add an old world accent or do an entire room with an antique look. Whatever your pleasure, home decor expert and iVillage contributor Susanna Sock is here to show you the best ways to do it. Susanna, good morning. Good morning, Natalie. Heirloom chic is very in right now, right? Finding sort of that old world charm and bringing it into any room. It gives your rooms personality and character, but very often we don't have the budget to buy a real antique. Mm -hmm. But the good news is it's so easy to find pieces that have the feeling of an antique or an heirloom that mm -hmm. someone loaned you or left to you, but... Um, so you don't have to get something passed down to you exactly. from generations to generations. Exactly. Going out there, go on the internet, feel. and you can get them. And they're new. That's the right. nice thing. No creaks, no things that you have to fix up. They come ready to go. Ready to good and well upholstered. And, and well upholstered. Well, let's talk about what we have here on this beautiful set. First, starting off with, um, you know, I, I think the great wallpaper pattern. That's a real pop in that any room, That is a real right? pop. You know, wallpaper isn't your grandmother's sort of fuddy-duddy design anymore. This is from Brocade Home, and look how chic it is. And I thought, if you aren't daring enough to do a whole room, which you mm -hmm. probably wouldn't, this is a very bold design, think about one wall. Think about your closet. Think about a hallway. But if you look at this Venetian mirror that I put on it that looks like I got it from an auction, but it's also from Brocade, everything really just jumps right off of it. Right. So I encourage wallpapering. I think it's a really fun way to and kind of get that old it off. Absolutely. It really does. All right. So from that to um, for, looking at our furniture here, and you've got a lot of pattern with pattern. Okay to mix, right? It's okay to mix. Get gutsy. It really gives, again, dimension and character to your room. This is a chair from Anthropology that looks like it could be in a gentleman's library somewhere. It's the old Windsor chair, right? The old Windsor chair, this wingback chair. It's brand new. And I love that twall pattern that doesn't take itself too seriously. There's it's a lot very of color. Pretty. There's some pops of color in there. Exactly. More whimsical. And you know, even if you had an all-white modern room, mm -hmm. that chair would be a great accent, as with this one this from one Crate too. and Barrel. This is Crate and Barrel? Wow. And this has that sort of antique feel shape, but it's got that jazzy blue, blue. velvet upholstery, which really could be a wonderful accent piece somewhere, and it's so comfortable and so sturdy. All right, now tell us about what this, this fun little, little ottoman. point ottoman is from Anthropology, but doesn't it look like your great-great-aunt from it, Palm Beach gave it to you? Exactly. It's got the fun needlepoint pattern. Again, these fun accents that really kind of give a room um, And you wouldn't have to do all of this, I mean, all together. No, I mean, just like little shoes. bits exactly. and pieces here and there. One or two now, things. this rug looks like an expensive oriental rug, but this is actually a rug from Target. I got it on Target.com. I love this aubergine color. It's sort of modern, but it's got the old-time oriental pattern. I don't love oriental carpets. For me, I think they kind of make a room very serious, mm -hmm. but this one kind of mixes the old with the new and really is so fun, and it's all wool. It's at an incredible price. And at $649, I mean, it's probably a little more expensive than most things at for Target, Target but, but for an 8 by 10 wool rug, I mean, it really lays the groundwork to a whole room. Absolutely. All right, let's move over here to our tabletop and take a look at some of the other great pieces, accents again. Accents. A, a gothic candelabra. candelabra from Brocade. I love this, and this would be fun if you got a couple of them. They're so inexpensive, and you put them all along your dinner table in instant atmosphere. All right, and, and this doesn't cost a lot either, I right? Think I think it's under 149, 150. 149, and it really has quite a substantial feel to it. Absolutely. Okay, over it. here, the only thing that is antique here, we should point out, is, is this, this tray, tray right? from Buckhouse Antiques in New York. And I found this on firstdibs.com, which is an amazing resource if you do want to get an antique. Mm -hmm. Just all on the internet, thousands of dealers from all over the world click and buy an antique. All right. Saves you on airfare. And, and take a look here at, the, at some of the tabletop accents here. I mean, uh, starting with a great with great silverware I got this that you a, found at a thrift shop? I got this at a thrift store. This is my own silverware. For under $100, I got a set of 12. I use it all the time. It gives some whimsy to my table mm -hmm. settings. I love it. And these tea, these tea, tea cups, cups are they from, from Anthropology. And I think it's fun to get one in every color. And they just have that heirloom style, but they're brand new. I think they're so they fun. They look very antique. And we're, we're running out of time, so I want to just move to this vase. Target, Target vase, under $20. Looks great. like a Ming vase. I love it. And these fabrics, they can add that same sort of heirloom For, vintage feel. Make a feel. pillow out of them. Fabric is a great way to revamp a sofa. And we've got some great little accent pieces here, too. Hardware is an important way that you can actually change up an entire look Make of Make over your blah bureau. Get some hardware, and all of a sudden it has an instant kind of panache to it. And 
Those are from anthropology. Old pictures and old photos. Your pet deserves their own ancestral portrait, too. <laughs> I took this of my dog, Molly. I sent it into artpod.com. And I had them put it in an old, uh, old time costume, and it looks like a Rembrandt. I'm going to put it right nice. over her dog bed. Well, some good ideas. Thank you, Thank Susanna you, Salk. Appreciate it. You can get more home decorating ideas from Susanna by going to our website, todayshow.com, and joining the iVillage community. And coming up next, six blind